Wow, what a week, you guys. I was clobbered by two clubs. Strange bedfellows, too, the atheists and the Christians. It went down like this. Some of you might have read this really cute Huffington Post piece, a comedic thing where they took a snippet posted on YouTube of something I said on CNN last week. And it basically alluded to the fact that I believe in some survival situations, atheists die before... Christians or people with faith, really. And the truth is, in TV shorthand, I forgot to say the word medical. I'm talking about medical survival stories, and all the links are on my website. You can check them out. Prayer, meditation, religiosity, all related to good outcomes after surgery or stopping progress, slowing progression of disease. Okay, that said, the atheist did not like what I said, and I got so many mean emails. Apparently, they thought I was a Christian. Okay, so they called me a church robot, ignorant, stupid, and idiot. My all-time favorite though, the dude who said, your tits are too small for the ignorant things you're saying on TV. I mean, I actually responded to that guy because, dude, I got a C cup. No, D, D cup. Can you see that? It's a D cup. And I even had breast reduction when I was 25. So imagine, boys, what it could have been. All right. So atheists hating me. Um, in the Huff piece, the writer suggested that since I'm the author of the boyfriend test and the girlfriend test, that should qualify me to write the God test being a seriously good sport, I decided to do that. So I adapted the boyfriend test as if I was dating Jesus, Buddha, Muhammad, and I posted it on my blog. Well, then the Christians attacked. I was feeling sorry for the Christians because the truth is these are good, hardworking, patriotic Americans, and they're trying to give their kids a moral compass. And I did not like that backlash against Christianity until they attacked, because apparently it's kind of taboo to joke about Jesus. That was the day that my 12-year-old said to me, Mom, please don't piss off the Jews. I got a lot of bar mitzvahs to go to this year. Okay, so with that said, I looked at atheism, and I realized that these guys, and I think they're mostly guys, have something. First of all, did you know they're organized now? Yeah, they even have meetings. They're starting to have rules of what they believe in and what they don't. They may not believe in God and prayer, but boy, do they believe in saving the planet and helping humanity. They're just bubbling with love for humanity. They're action-oriented. That's why I think they're dudes, because they say they'd rather build a hospital than a church. It made so much sense to me, like, you know, Christianity, but without all that time on your knees, because those benches really hurt. So... Um, I was loving the atheists, I was loving the Christians, and I learned something here. What I learned is Christians selectively ignore science, and atheists selectively ignore possibilities. But I do think we have much more in common than not. And if you go to my website, you'll understand what we fear and why we create clubs to help us assuage our fears. Anyway, if you go on CNN tomorrow around 5.15 Eastern, Don Lemon and I are going to be talking about something that all of us have in common now, sex.